everybody welcome to a brand new golden goblet um those though i'm stunned i have to give it up for mouth he did win the golden goblet clubhouse games i believe by getting a win in dominoes and a win in uh carom along with wins in checkers and chinese checkers and pool he won five games to my four unbelievable you, what can you say about this man he's an esports legend this week we're doing track mania it just came out on you play um very simple rules you got 15 minutes set the best time possible on the track that we've selected for that day um so we're i, I wanted to do tracks that i've not played just to make it as fair as possible so we're, we're going to do 5 6 8 9 10 16 19 as confusing as that might be let's get it started here and uh i'm i'm ready um 15 minute timer please Ooh, it's been a while it's been a while since we did that let me make sure my bluetooth's off okay here we go personal best not ranked play alone play against opponents we're gonna play alone for now we're gonna play alone for now if you're not familiar with track mania track mania is essentially a very accessible arcade racing game that has a low skill floor and a high skill cap so we're gonna just kind of chart a course. The tracks tend to be around like less than a minute long. Um, so we should have time to put down a decent lap here without like fully refining what we're going for, right? So we're just gonna get a little peek of what we got going on. Is this snow? It is snow. Obviously the traction there is like truly horrible. But this is the end of the level here, okay. That's totally fine. Let's, let's see, that was an all right lap to begin. 40 seconds, good enough for a bronze. That puts us in the top 239 in British Columbia. <laughs> so at the end of 15 minutes, we can see our best time just by holding the right bumper. And of course, we can race against our ghost here. So you see, you're already improving. We don't need to hit the brakes on that spot. I just watched Ford versus Ferrari last night. I'm telling you, we got a little Carol Shelby energy coming on. Don't even worry about your ghost, okay? Your ghost is irrelevant. I don't know about that play right there. feel like we lost a lot of speed. It's a very momentum-driven... Uh, racing game now here's the tough one on the snow you want to point your tires where you want to go and you want smooth acceleration like this you don't want to make big moves you don't want to make big moves and we're going to set a new lap record there we only took three one hundredths of a second off that's all right though improve it again i really like the game's sense of like regionalism you know what i mean i hold on we can do a lot better there like now I, i'm never going to compete with the the world's greatest but I can at least see how well we're doing, you know, relative to other people uh, locally. Or regionally, I should say. So I think I've, I've realized we actually do want to hit this full speed. Sometimes in Track Mania, you want to spend as little time in the air as possible. But I guess there's some times where it uh, is more relevant. You want to stay off the curbs. Oh, oh, baby! Good, good. Didn't even glance the wall that time. Okay. So don't try to cheat this corner as much as we did last time. This is uh, this is tarmac. We can get good traction on tarmac. This is three seconds ahead. So just don't screw this up. We've screwed it up. We've screwed it up. We flipped over. Um, and I can probably watch my ghost. Just yeah, okay, all right. That's that's not snow. That's ice. <laughs> that's okay. I think this is gonna be a really good golden goblet. Uh, honestly, it's a it's a good fit for the Golden Goblet. I do wish we had other people's ghosts in the game as well, but, uh, you know, it's a racing game, which is not everybody's cup of tea. However, it's a racing game that's, like, incredibly accessible. You know, you're not running super, like, difficult lines, like in F1. You're not like, oh, if you break, a, you know, one one hundredth of a second too late, you screw up your whole lap. We really like, oh, we shouldn't have gone up that high. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a really, really easily replayable, accessible uh, racing game that I think is going to be a good fit. Hopefully you agree. Clubhouse, by the way, we will bring back. Probably with some selection of new games as well as some of the games previously seen. It's just, it's a perfect fit for the Golden Goblet. We're four seconds ahead of our previous time. No, 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 no. Okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. It's not as good as the corner you took last time you were here, 
but you, or like when the when you completed that lap successfully but that's okay four seconds ahead with the gold medal oh baby we're in the top 100 in british columbia next goal let's say top uh, top 1000 in canada on this track would be nice really like at least 25 percent of this game's appeal is the uh is the leaderboard functionality i knew it was gonna happen i was trying to take the outside line okay Okay, so we now we, we try to tighten it up. The great news is there's a lot of means to tighten this one up. That's not going to be great for us, but I think we'll still stick with it on this one. We could restart, but um, I think there's a lot of space to tighten it up on that final corner. And even on this one, I think we could be better. Like, that was okay, but we did lose traction for a minute. That might slow us down. We're two seconds behind. No, 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 no. Oh, you're going to beat me. You're going to beat me, but it was closer. All right. We got to not go up. We got to stay on the cambered corner. So, obviously. I mean, like, I, at some point, I'm a logical individual. I have to accept that Malf, when he was a full-time employee of the workforce, um, the corporate workforce, I should say, um, I was a superior gamer, I think. But I didn't realize that he had an athlete inside of him, lying in wait. And now that he's gone full-time with streaming and has been, he's been on that for about a year or so, um, he's killing it. He, he's, he's won, like, so many golden goblets, it'll, it'll make your head spin. I mean, if I had known that by winning the first Spelunky Golden Goblet, it would create a situation where he'd have a chip on his shoulder forever and would become an unstoppable gamer god, I might have thrown the competition, honestly. I learned from the best of them. We're, we're way too slow off that. I mean, the problem is we were actually too fast coming out of the earlier part of it. Um, by the way, as far as track mania goes, these are... Uh, I mean, this, this course right here is pretty pedestrian. Even though we got some, like, you know, terrain switch-ups, it really is a pretty... Oh, I don't know... I think, we, I think we got there. Maybe we can still compete. We can still compete at least. No! Um, yeah, we're we're going to be playing levels, I think, that are going to send us upside down. We might be stuck in a completely iced over luge track from time to time. By the way, I highly recommend Track Mania. If, if you like what you see. What you see is what you get with this one. I am playing it at the $10 tier. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is big. This is big. We're going for top 1,000 in Canada. For the top 1,000 in Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, we took eight one hundredths of a second off. Oh, top 50. Top 639 in Canada. Oh, my God. Well, if we could get to top uh, 500 in Canada, that would be good. I mean, it would be nice if we could get to first in Canada, because then that would at least mean that I would defeat Malf. <laughs> well, he probably hasn't recorded his yet, because he's doing a 12-hour stream right now, but... I have no idea how this is going to go, by the way. I, I think that I have... It, here's, here's my take on it right now. I think I have more history in racing games than Malf. However... I think that he's been on a good run lately, so who the heck knows what's going to happen. And then secondarily, come on, come on, we're not going to beat it. We're not going to beat it. We're going to be close, but we're not going to beat it. That was close, though. Three hundredths of a second down. Um, I, I think that Malf could win. Plus, this is a different style of driving than, like, F1 or, uh, you know, Forza Horizon 4 or something like that. Dan, I have no idea. I don't believe I've ever heard him talk about racing games. I don't believe I have ever seen him play a racing game. But it would not surprise me if Dan knew how to, like, take apart and rebuild his car's engine from scratch. It also would not surprise me if he didn't know how to do that, to be clear. Oh, we made it. Ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 they a little too much, a little too much fishtail. Come on, 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 come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Took another two 100s off, almost three. All right, Ruka, can you get out of here, please, sir? 
Top 36 in British Columbia. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We probably got like another just over five minutes left here before the alarm goes off. Whether or not we set a better lap, I'm pretty pleased with how this has started. Whoa! Um, I will say, the tracks also vary a lot in difficulty. So there are some tracks where like, I don't, I don't know if any of the ones that in our that are in our playlist for the Golden Goblet are like this, but uh, there are some tracks for sure that just completing them might not be enough to get you a gold, but it'd be enough for you to be like, I did my best. This is not one of the tracks. This is like, our line was terrible there. Um, this is a track that for right now feels like pretty, uh, pretty easy. I still think we're leaving way too much on the on the track on that turn. That's not going to help, obviously. But um, I, I think if we're like a second back on our best time, a perfect line on that turn could still get us there. But yeah, you'll see. Anyway, this is also a great one. You know, I, I don't expect too many people to watch... Uh, and our wheels were unfortunately turned in the wrong direction there. But yo, we had some pretty good speed. We're staying competitive. Um, I don't expect too many people to watch 45 minutes uh, of the same race non -sequen or sequentially, I should say. So I don't expect you to like watch mine, then Malf's, then Dan's. Because I'm sure you're going to be like, I'm sick of seeing this freaking track. If you want to, for the love of God, please do. It would be amazing. What I'm going to say is this would be a great one to go to the view sync located at uh, reddit.com slash r slash northern lion. And watch them all simultaneously. Because they will... They might not line up in terms of game time. Because uh, Lord knows, Mouth can take a 15-minute time limit and find a way to make the video last for two hours. And I love him for it. But you can at least see a, a rough degree of how we're all doing. And in some ways, like, I'll admit, playing Track Mania solo... We were going to hit the curb on that one. Playing Track Mania solo is not ideal. Um... Or, let me rephrase. It's fine, but it doesn't show off the multiplayer aspect of the game, which is really, like, that that semi-competitive, like, ghost-chasing aspect of the game is really a big part of it. So, um, hopefully we'll get a chance to play some, uh, some multiplayer. I think we're going to try to do it on the NLSS on Monday. Me, Josh, and Malf are definitely down. I think we'll be running by Apollo. He's got no problem with cars. I mean, this is basically just, like, European Mario Kart. Oh! He clipped it, dude. He clipped it. Good. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Stay steady there. Okay, it was a bad line. Bad entry. Or was it? Or was it? No, no! We hit the grass! <laughs> Okay, but still, I'm very pleased with my time right now. We got a 34 second .798 lap time right now. Just call me Ken Miles, baby. <laughs> no, 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 that's bad timing. I apologize. Um, probably we're getting into the final couple of minutes here, so let's just focus. 7,000 RPMs. The rest of the world just sort of slips away. You're moving in slow motion. Now that was an absolutely beautiful corner. Wow, dude, I, I oh, it's gonna be close because we got a little, I think they got traction. And by they, I mean me. I think me got traction before me. Go, 80, 81 thousandths. Still, good run. By the way, sometimes I'll race at this level in an online lobby and someone will beat my time by like three seconds and I just go what how how did you do this how did you accomplish this incredible feat I don't know the answer we're working on it look at the dude I don't know I, I'm going way too high up on this thing maybe just trying to skirt across it tangentially is the way to go we made up a lot of a lot of speed at the end but not enough there this is a really tricky one to, like, we, we don't have a perfect lap. We have a lap that's close enough to perfect. That is really, for me at least, it's close enough to my maximum. 
is very hard to improve upon. I believe that our timer will be going off any minute now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. N and not because I think it benefits me here. I think if you are still on your lap when the alarm goes off, you can finish that lap. So, let's keep restarting. <laughs> I think we should use F1 rules. As long as your lamp is in progress, I believe you should be able to, to finish it. We're literally like a second away from this thing going off. In fact, I'm actually going to restart. I'm going to tell you how much time's left. 19 seconds. We're going to pause this so it doesn't murder your eardrums. And we're going to make this our final lap no matter what. So we, we would have fit this in just under the time. Alright. But I'm, I'm pleased. Let me give a full radio silent lap. Bad start. Now a little tangent. A little tangent of the curve. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> okay, okay. I do want to do one more, but here's our time. 34.798. If anybody else is uh, is capable of beating that today, then they will take the gold from me. And mad respect, honestly. That I think I said, I said a pretty good time. Um, that is beatable, but very, very solid. So I definitely don't feel like this is like Karim where we threw the game. For now, let's just do another lap or two for sport. I just like racing games, dude. We're here to we're here to make racing games cool. They're, they're not respected as much as I would like. Now, tangent. Probably try not to hit the snow dunes. Oh, we were in. Just give me one more. Just give me one more. We're so close. As long as you don't hit the dunes there, we're okay. Or maybe you could put the snow tires on. I'm interested to see if... Because I, I didn't vet any of these maps. I just chose maps that I had not played before. So that it would be as fair as possible. Um, there might be some fully snow maps, which would be a lot of fun. Well, I was going to say for me, but what I really mean is like, it'd be a lot of fun for the audience. It's not going to be fun for any of the drivers. Right, Ruka? So we're like, even just now... We found some improvements in our lap. I don't know if this is going to do it. My wheels were a little bit askew. Didn't hit the dunes, didn't hit the dunes. Good counter steer. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna we're gonna move up a little. Not much, we're gonna move up a little. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, and we moved to the top 500 in Canada. I can live with that. Hey, for now, thanks for watching. This is episode one of the Track Mania Golden Goblet. If you enjoyed it, first off, go check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives as well and go click the like button. If you enjoyed the episode, it helps me out a great deal. It gives me a little algorithmic juice. I'd really appreciate it. Apart from that, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and we'll be back tomorrow with some more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. See ya!